We're going to begin with the disappearance of Egypt Air Flight 804. And the big question this afternoon is, was it a case of terrorism? The plane took off in Paris and then disappeared from radar before its scheduled landing in Cairo. 56 passengers and 10 crew members were on board, including three air marshals. And right now, there are conflicting reports about whether debris from the plane has been recovered or not. Uh, but as news reporter Rob Nelson is following all the latest developments. He's in the loot newsroom with more. Rob. Well, Liz, just a few hours ago, the airline announced that it did locate the wreckage of the flight near a Greek island. However, Greek officials are now saying the debris found in the Mediterranean Sea does not belong to an aircraft. Despite those conflicting reports, the wreckage, though, will eventually provide critical evidence in answering the key question of whether this, in fact, was a catastrophic mechanical failure or worse, an act of terrorism. At this hour, officials believe the latter seems more likely. Egypt Air Flight 804 took off from Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris about 11 o'clock local time last night, heading toward Cairo. About three and a half hours later, the plane disappeared from radar just minutes after its last contact with air traffic control at roughly 37,000 feet. There was never a distress call before the plane plunged into the Mediterranean Sea. Earlier today, Egypt's aviation minister said early evidence suggests this likely was not an accident. The possibility of having a different action or go, uh, having a terror attack is higher than the possibility of having a technical. There were 10 crew members and 56 passengers on board the Airbus 320, mostly French and Egyptian citizens, including three children. No Americans were on the flight, but the U.S. is now helping Egypt in the investigation. It's too early to definitively say what may have caused this disaster. Uh, the investigation is underway and investigators will consider all of the potential factors that could have contributed to the crash. Major U.S. airlines are monitoring the crash, but so far there is no significant impact on American air travel. Meantime, De Gaulle Airport in Paris has opened an investigation into all personnel on board the doomed flight. If there was a bomb on board, authorities have to look now at whether it was smuggled onto the flight through luggage or possibly airport workers. Officials have already said none of the passenger names have raised any red flags. In the aftermath of the crash, France has approved a two-month extension of a state of emergency initially put into place after the terror attacks there back in November. Now, rescue teams now scouring Greek waters are facing some tough weather conditions, but at this point, the search for more debris will go on throughout the night. The wreckage, of course, will offer telltale signs if this, in fact, was some kind of explosion. But at this point, no group has claimed responsibility for the crash.